Uh, don't mind this on my head. Yeah, looking hot. Okay, shortest hair I've ever had, right up to here, and I freaking hated it. I actually still don't think I'm supposed to say anything. Wow, I'm glowing. Woo! Oh, it's because of that. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say anything, but you can find it on the internet. Um, I would actually, but I'm not going to go looking for it. You know, I personally think I can do online dating better than a lot of people because I like to be alone. Uh, actually, yes, I am very happy that I went on it. I think that it was a great experience. It was really fun. I liked the adventure. I also like television and entertainment, so it was great! No, I can't even. I can't even at all. Meditation, breathing exercises, and working on your mindset. Boom! Um, I have actually lived in Southern California. Haven't been to San Diego, but I am planning to move there, which is really weird and ironic, but something I've always had a dream of doing, and it's in the future. Actually, I am absolutely happy with where I'm at in life. I think that's one of the number one things that people always need to focus on is that wherever they're at in life, regardless of where you are, you need to love where you're at because it's the journey that matters. Hey, I'm not forcing you not to love me. So if you want to love me, you can love me if you want, but I ain't gonna date you. Mm, that's a toughie. I would say stay away from all the narcissistic manipulating bastards out there. Be fucking smart about it, girl. Some days I like it, but most days I love it. My kids. My kids make me happy as well as pursuing my passions. Of course I lift. Lift this can up to my mouth. <gasps> it's called having a motherfucking kid, motherfuckers. I, I definitely get it from my weird ass mother. She's a little crazy and maybe you guys will see her again in the future. I love how people are just so interested in this kind of stuff. Um, first, father, not that well, but I've tried. Keep trying. Second father, absolutely fantastic. Hmm. I do a lot of things for work, actually. And I work completely for myself right now. Got a lot going on, and I'm the one who pays the bills only. This reminds me of last Sunday. Had way too much tequila. But tequila any day over vodka and Coke? Come on, it's whiskey and Coke. Nope. Nope. Oh my God, I didn't know it was you. Oh my gosh, I just want to say, girl, you are the best phlebotomist ever. I love it when you are the one who helps me donate. Woo! It takes a lot of personal development, read books, listen to podcasts, just doing a ton of work on yourself. You start to recognize that you can get the brain to work for you. You don't got to work for your brain. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Avery Warner and uh, I'm really not anybody special, but just want to let everybody know, just uh, keep your head up. We're going to get through this together, okay? Um, it's actually not that hard. I actually go through really long periods of time where I do complete sober breaks, no drinking, no cannabis, no anything. And I do that for like a couple months. Um, so not that hard. I mean, to be honest with you, I have a great relationship with my oldest daughter and uh, my family knows, my friends know, everyone close to us know. It's just people on the internet will truly believe anything that they hear. And he's a narcissist and he's a compulsive liar. So it's unfortunate. Oh, thanks, Maddie. You are too. I'm looking forward to our little get together on Tuesday. Oh my God. I, I thought I was a skater. I thought I was a tomboy. Actually, I thought I was a boy. Um, I also turned goth and, um, yeah. Girl, shout out to you. I don't think anybody really would understand the challenge of what that takes unless they have are actually a single parent. 
So hell freaking yes to you, girl. High five. Target. 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 And target. I'm telling you people, it's all about the diet and it's all about that CBD cream. DM if you want to know about that. When I got back from Australia, I actually got fired from that job because of all the shit that it took me to go to Australia. That guy's loss, but then I quit my second job. They film hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours upon footage for five minutes of airtime, and they only stick to what they want you to see of that person because they have to create a story. That's why. Mm, I don't think I can tell you that, but what I will tell you is you will definitely be seeing me on TV again soon. Very, very, very soon. And you might see a different side of Avery. Uh, it really doesn't do anything. It just fucking sits around all day.